Hey guys, good morning. Please excuse the Pac-Man face. I know that's what I always feel like when just my, my part of my eyeballs are showing, maybe my lips. Anyway, um, so as you may have noticed, I'm not, this isn't Tuesday and this isn't Friday. I think that's when I usually do them. Um, some circumstances, a little bit out of my control. Well, most of them are, but have um, happened in my extended family. So um, it's just curtailed my schedule to do the priorities. And although this is a priority, it is not as high on the list as other things. So I wanted to um, talk to you about, well, actually, I just want to pray with us, with you for our school year coming up. And it doesn't matter what that looks like for you. It may, and, and we've been blessed and we're, we're a little bit hard to follow on occasion. I get it. Um, we've been able to, at, last year, we had a homeschooler, a public schooler, and two private schoolers all at the same time. I think we have hit every way you can educate your children, and we were doing it all at once other than boarding school. And my husband went to boarding school, so we've got it all covered. And so I just wanted to pray with you um, regarding this upcoming year for our, our kiddos and our administrators and yes I have a freshman in college so we're gonna pray for college kids because it's funny how you, you see things and you watch people go through it but till it hits your house sometimes you just don't get it so we'll be praying for college kids we'll be praying for high school kids um, middle school elementary and listen if you don't have kids in school yet even if you don't have kids let's pray for this generation and to the mommies out there and daddies and siblings but primarily mommies because we tend to be the ones that really chew on this the most daddies are definitely in it um, but do not stress out about what you need to do this is the mommies who don't have kids in school yet don't stress out about what you're supposed to do with your kids it's not like you gave birth and God smacked you on the behind and said, okay, figure it out, good luck. No, just seek him in everything. Every, every semester, every year, anytime there's anxiety about what do I do, what is, what is the plan for them or what is this going to look like for them, if we will really just thank God for the opportunity to educate our kids and then lift it up to him and say, okay, I commit this to you. Can you just tell me? what we're doing he will speak he's not silent even when it comes to practical things like taking like sending your kids to school or homeschooling them or or holding them at home a year before you send them to school or sending them on whatever it is okay he's got you he I can testify of that in my life that I would get all stressed out trying to figure out what I was supposed to do and he would just gently remind me that he's got it and sometimes before I even knew there was going to be a shift he would start talking he would bring it up and say okay this is my plan for you now walk in it so I hope that alleviates some anxiety for you if you're trying to figure out what to do and I'm talking about pre-k K, um, all the way up to, to does my child go to graduate school and usually that's kind of more in their hands anyway but or how do I pay for school how do I do these things these are all things that God cares about and he will speak to you and give you direction. He'll really tell you what to do. All right, so I'm going to pray, and you can just pray right along with me. You don't have to say it out loud. This isn't one of those follow along prayers, but you can just say, yes, Lord, I agree. Like when I hear somebody praying, I want to, to lend my voice to agreement, so I'll say yes, yes, Lord, yes, I agree, while they're praying. And I've noticed that when people do that when I'm praying, it encourages me because we're agreeing together and I just feel a power boost. So you might just add that to your prayer life in general when someone else is praying. You don't have to, but it's just that verbal out loud agreement. All right, so Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you on behalf of the moms, the dads, the students, the administrators, the teachers, and all those who will interact with our children in these coming days, I ask you to bless them with your presence above everything else. God, your presence is it. Just like Moses wouldn't go forward without you, 
you are willing to send an angel. Lord, may we not go forward without your peace. And where that peace isn't, I just bind it. I bind the fear and anxiety. I gag it and I paralyze it. Lord, I use your authority you have given us to take over our children's future for your glory. I will pray what you say pray, and I ask you to give the words to me and to those who are listening, Lord, and to those in general, so that we will know how to set the course for our children for this generation because we're just borrowing them, and I thank you so much for entrusting them to us, but I know it's not up to me, and I give that burden of having to know exactly what to do I just take it off of my back and I roll it onto yours, Jesus. And I thank you for taking it from me. I ask for clear communication between all administrators and teachers and those who help, the cafeteria workers, those who feed our children, for their for wisdom and how to give them perfect nutrition, even if we're packing their lunches, Lord every detail I turn over to you and I loose the spirit of wisdom and understanding and the knowledge of you God to the hearts of the children and I thank you Lord for writing it down that favorite scripture where, you, where the Galileans your, your friends were not really well educated men but because they had been with you the crowd just marveled and said aren't they from Galilee but then they said, yes, but they had been with Jesus. So may our priority be to remember your, you as we just walk through the day teaching our kids or while we're away from them. I thank you for the promptings to pray for them. And I thank you, God, for the authority you have given us to set the path for our kiddos and our teachers and coaches and everybody that has influence. I thank you, God, and I loose a blessing of provision in every way to those who sow into my kids and just children in general. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Well guys, I hope that um, encouraged you, it did me. I could have gone on and on forever, but um, I am taking kiddos to school and I wanna have a conversation with them. One thing that we have learned that's been really great in our family and it's never too late to start and we've seen it spread because we learned it from a family um, who had who had good kids. They had a good product, so I was like, hey, you know what, we'll take that. And I, I may have talked about this before, but just real quick, when you pick your kids up and you're in the car or you're sitting at the, the kitchen table or just wherever you are, ask them for their pits and peaks, their highs and lows. It's a great way to get the conversation started and it prompts you because you need to share them too so you keep in touch with your kids if they're away from you. I've even texted that um, to people that aren't close to me, you know, your, your college kiddos. Okay, so it's just a great way to check in. Say, tell me about this, tell me about that because most of the time they won't volunteer that information and, and it's a great non-pressure way to train them to communicate with you and train yourself even to communicate with them if you need it. So I hope that little tidbit helped you. It's been a blessing in our life and I thank that family at Family Camp for teaching us that so many years ago. Can't remember their names. Yes, I can. It was the Taylors. Thank you, Taylors. So I um, hope that encourages you as we start the school year. I do believe it's going to be the best year ever. Love you guys and don't forget to release that Rebbe.